In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, we are in our homes this evening. Let us surrender ourselves to Jesus, our Lord and King, present in the monstrance on the altar. Let us reverently bow before him. Humbly we adore thee, Christ Redeemer King. Thou art Lord of heaven, Thou to whom we sing. God the mighty, Thou hast come, Bearing gifts of grace. Son of Adam, still Thou art, Saviour to our race. Jesus, Lord, we for this wondrous bread In our land thou dwellest By thee we are fed We who share this mystery In thee are made one Every act we offer thee Lord Jesus, we the members of the Assumption family are here to praise, thank, worship, adore, and to feel your healing touch. Jesus, King of Kings, our Savior, joy and gladness, there is none like you. The heavens bow before you, and the earth proclaims your glory. We to join in their chorus and sing on this occasion of your feast, Christ, our universal King. Thank you. 
Great and mighty God, when we look back at the recent past, we realize that in spite of so many restrictions, you made it possible for us to communicate, to catechize, to teach our children, and do most of our work from our homes. We praise you for the digital media. We praise and thank you for making our homes and hearts places of worship. Yes, we have come closer to you during these difficult times. We praise and thank you for helping us make an inward journey of searching and seeking you in our hearts by introspection which made us repent and make reparation for our sins. You have changed our hearts. Yes, Lord, your ways are incomprehensible. You have healed our sick, broken, and sinful world. Great and mighty God, nothing is impossible for you. You roll back the waters of the mighty Red Sea. And you said I'll never leave you Put your trust in me St. Paul, in his letter to the Philippians, chapter 2, verse 5, says, Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. St. Paul exhorts us to imitate Christ Jesus, to put on a new self, 
by sharing our lives. He exhorts us to have the mind or the attitude of Christ. In his letter to the Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 1, he says, As beloved children of God, strive to imitate Christ Jesus. We praise and thank you, Lord, for slowly but surely we realize that you are making us imitators of you. We thank you for so many good Samaritans who freely and without reserve gave their time, money, and energy to comfort the sick and the suffering and experienced the joy of giving. Lord, your mercy, healing, and your saving help goes on. Lord, help us to be like you. Help us to put on a new self. Help us to have the mind of Jesus. Jesus, even though he was eternally God's son, he emptied himself to be the servant of all. He was humble and obedient unto death. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. God put everything he made under his feet. He has given to him the highest name that can be named. And in all believing hearts he reigns supreme. He is Lord. He is Lord. He is risen from the dead and he Lord, every knee shall bend, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He's my Lord, He's my Lord. He is risen from the dead and He is Lord. Yes, my knee shall bend, and my tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord God, even though we went astray, you chose to be with us. You loved us so much that you pitched your tent among us. You gave us the gift of Jesus to heal us. And Jesus gave us the gift of his continued healing presence in the Blessed Sacrament, the Eucharist, for us to touch feel, worship, and adore. This tangible presence is our victory over suffering, sin, and death. It is our joy and gladness, our health and happiness. Jesus is here right now. Let us draw near to him 
touch him, worship him. Yes, Jesus is here in our midst. What do I have to offer him? Pain, fear, joy of being family, joy of being 
useful in my community at home. My inadequacy to sufficiently reach out to the needy. What does Jesus have to offer us? Let us listen to him speak to us. He always wants to do something new in us. He wants to equip us to lead a righteous life, a life of truthfulness. He is reminding us to read his word and use it to fight the evil one. He wants to equip us with the readiness to share the good news. He is the full and complete armor which if put on will enable us to be victorious in our battle here on earth making us heirs to his heavenly kingdom. Put on the armor of Jesus Christ Build up your strength in the Lord Guard yourself with His truth Carry faith as a shield The good news, the sword in your hand Let your loins be cut and your lamps alight Waiting for the day when the Master comes May he find you watching when he returns He come like a thief in the night So put on the armor of Jesus Christ Build up your strength in the Lord Guard yourself with his truth Carry faith as a shield The good news, the sword in your hand if we die with him, we shall live with him. If we now endure, we shall reign with him. If we now not faithful, he'll still keep faith. He can't be false to himself. So put on the armor of Jesus Christ. Build up your strength in the Lord. Guard yourself with his truth. Faith as a shield, the good news, the sword in your hand, the good news, the sword in your hand. Many a saint and people have experienced revelations, healings, forgiveness, and peace through their devotion to Jesus in the most blessed sacrament. Let us treasure the gift of Jesus in the blessed sacrament, his real presence, 
his compassion and love. Brothers and sisters, what are we to do in this present crisis when we do not have access to the Holy Eucharist? We'll remember that an authentic encounter with the Lord in the silence of prayer leads to a conversion of heart which leads to inner healing. Let us always desire this special meeting with the Lord in the Blessed Sacrament, wherever we are. Like the Israelites carried the Ark of the Covenant everywhere and emerged victorious, we must carry the life of Jesus carry his loving and healing presence to our broken world. The Eucharist reminds us that God nourishes and sustains us in mind, body and spirit. And so we confidently offer now our petitions to our Heavenly Father. Our response is Creator and King of the universe, hear and answer our prayer. All together, Creator and King of the universe, hear and answer our prayer. For our Holy Father, bishops, priests, religious, and clergy, that they may continue to be granted abundant graces to shepherd their flock. We pray to the Lord, Creator and King of the universe, hear and answer our prayer. For the church all over the world, that we may feel the divine presence in every storm we encounter especially during these times of suffering. We pray to the Lord. Creator and King of the universe, hear and answer our prayer. For all world leaders, that they may recognize the dignity of all people as children of God and work together across borders for the common good. We pray to the Lord, Creator and King of the universe, Hear and answer our prayer. For research scientists, that they may find a vaccine and cure for COVID-19. And may we all do our part to help contain the spread of the virus. We pray to the Lord, Creator and King of the universe, hear and answer our prayer. For doctors, 
surgeons, nurses, technicians, and frontline workers, that they be granted protection as they serve others. We pray to the Lord. Creator and King of the universe, hear and answer our prayer. For children, youth, that they may embrace the future knowing for children and youth that they may embrace the future knowing that God sustains and nourishes them we pray to the Lord creator and king of the universe Hear and answer our prayer. For our Assumption family, that we become instruments of compassionate understanding and mercy for those who feel broken and marginalized. We pray to the Lord. Creator and King of the universe, hear and answer our prayer. For those in need of our prayers, the unemployed, those struggling with financial difficulties, those suffering with or recovering from COVID-19, the lonely and depressed, the bereaved, that our prayers be a source of healing, strength and courage for them. We pray to the Lord. Creator and King of the universe, hear and answer our prayer. For our personal needs, let us pray in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Creator and King of the universe, hear and answer our prayer. Loving God, we implore you to fill us with your healing love. Strengthen us in faith. Give us certainty when in doubt and courage when we fear. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this time spent with you, for all your grace and blessing bestowed on us for healing and new life. Amen. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. His name is Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, he is the king. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. 
Jesus is the King of Kings. Sing Alleluia. Sing Alleluia. Jesus is the King. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. His name is Jesus. 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 Oh, He is the King. Sing Alleluia. Sing Alleluia. My Jesus is the King of Kings. Sing Alleluia. Sing Alleluia. My Jesus is the King. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit.